The LE 7 and its succeeding upgrade model, the LE 7A, are staged combustion cycle LH2, LOX liquid rocket engines produced in Japan for the H2 series of launch vehicles. Design and production work was all done domestically in Japan. The first major main first stage liquid rocket engine with that claim, in a collaborative effort from the National Space Development Agency (NASDA), Aerospace Engineering Laboratory (NAL), Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, and Ashikawajima Harima. NASDA and NAL have since been integrated into JAXA. However, a large part of the work was contracted to Mitsubishi, with Ashikawajima Harima providing turbo machinery, and the engine is often referred to as the Mitsubishi La 7A. The original La 7 was an expendable, high efficiency, medium sized motor with sufficient thrust for use on the H2. H-2 Flight 8, only operational LA-7 failure The fuel turbopump had an issue using the originally designed inducer a propeller-like axial pump used to raise the inlet pressure of the propellant ahead of the main turbopumps to prevent cavitation where the inducer would itself begin to cavitate and cause an imbalance resulting in excessive vibration. A comprehensive post-flight analysis of the unsuccessful 8th H-2 launch, including a deep ocean retrieval of the wreckage, determined that fatigue due to this vibration was the cause of premature engine failure. <laughs> LE-7A The LE-7A is an upgraded model from the LE-7 rocket engine. Basic design is unchanged from the original model. The 7A had additional engineering effort placed on cost-cutting, reliability, and performance developments. The renovation was undertaken to mate it with the likewise improved HIIA launch vehicle, with the common goal being a more reliable, more powerful and flexible, and more cost-effective launch system. Changes, improvements Specific emphasis was placed on reducing or the amount of required welding by allowing for more machined or cast components, and to simplify as many of the remaining welds as possible. This resulted in a substantial rework of the pipe routing, which makes the outward appearance of the two models considerably different. To combat the fuel inducer complications described above, the fuel inducer was redesigned for the 7A. The oxidizer inducer was also redesigned, but this was primarily due to poor performance at low inlet pressures as opposed to reliability concerns. The fuel turbopump itself was also the subject of various durability enhancements. Additionally the combustion chamber – injector assembly underwent a number of small changes, like decreasing the number of injector elements, to reduce machining complexity and thus cost and improve reliability. While these changes overall resulted in a drop in maximum specific impulse to 440 seconds 4.3 km per second basically making the engine less fuel efficient, the trade-off for lower cost and enhanced reliability was considered acceptable. <laughs> New nozzle design side loading problem. For the new engine model, a nozzle extension was designed that could be added to the base of the new standard short nozzle when extra performance was required. But when the engine was fitted with the nozzle extension, the 7A encountered a new problem with unprecedented side loads and irregular heating on the nozzle strong enough to damage the gimbal actuators and regenerative cooling tubes during startup. Meticulous computational fluid dynamics CFD work was able to sufficiently replicate and trace the dangerous transient loading and a new one-piece long nozzle with full regenerative cooling as opposed to the original short nozzle with a separate film-cooled extension was designed to mitigate the problem. Before this new nozzle was ready, some HIIAs were launched using only the short nozzle. The 7A no longer uses a separate nozzle extension in any configuration. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Use on HIIB. The new HIIB launch vehicles uses two LE7A engines in its first stage. Topic: LE7A specifications. Operational cycle, staged combustion Fuel, hydrogen Oxidizer, liquid oxygen Mixture ratio, oxidizer to fuel, 5.90 Short nozzle Rated thrust, sea level, 843 kilonewtons, 190,000 lbf Rated thrust vacuum 1074 kilonewtons 241000 lbf Specific impulse sea level Specific impulse vacuum 429 seconds 4.21 kilometers per second Long nozzle Rated thrust sea level 870 kilonewtons 200000 lbf Rated thrust vacuum 1098 kilonewtons 247000 lbf Specific impulse sea level 338 seconds 3.31 kilometers per second Specific impulse vacuum 440 seconds 4.3 kilometers per second Dry mass 1800 kilograms 4000 pounds Length Short nozzle equals 3.2 meters. Long nozzle equals 3.7 meters. Throttle capability 72 to 100 percent. Thrust to weight 65.9. Nozzle area ratio 51.9 1. Combustion chamber pressure 12. 0 megapascals 1740 psi. Liquid hydrogen turbopump, 41,900 revolutions per minute. Liquid oxygen turbopump, 18,300 revolutions per minute. Topic see also La 5 La 9 H2, HIIA, and HIIB Comparison of orbital rocket engines Liquid rocket engine staged combustion cycle JAXA